Sagittarius, it's your turn. So this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Yes, I said general love reading. So this is not a twin flame reading, but if twin flame cards come out, then um, we'll roll with that. This reading is timeless. So whenever you find this reading, Sagittarius, it's for you. But we are going to focus on the energy of September. Uh, look at what I did right before we started. I cut my finger open. <clears throat> and it hurts. And now I'm getting blood on all my cards. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Alright, so that's how the day is starting out. Alright, let's go Sagittarius. <clears throat> just gonna put I have so many crystals I just have them all on here <laughs> all right what does Sagittarius need to know about the love life ready now for Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know about their love life for September please what does our beautiful fire sign Sagittarius need to know about their love life for September please I gotta clean your space one second too okay so I was just clearing the energy with a bell let's, let's get it Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know about their love life for September please connecting with the energy of all of the Sagittarius that watch me Woo! your guys energy is beautiful as soon as I said that card flew out king of pentacles trust wow a good start what else do we have for Sagittarius please oh, this is really hurting my finger oh I just got blood all over the place oh my god I need a band-aid but I hate wearing band-aids I hate them a <clears throat> little secret about chakra bunny I hate band-aids I can't stand them. I don't like them. Judgment, self-reflection. Okay, I'm gonna get one more card out and see if we can start feeling out the energy of these cards, guys. Right away though, we have the energy of learning to trust yourself. Um, reward, holy moly. Okay, so we have the energy of someone <clears throat> feels like a feminine. She is learning to trust her divine masculine, okay? There's an energy of like a feminine trusting a masculine. The roles can be reversed. It has nothing to do with um, gender. It's all about like, you know, the what you identify with, I guess. Um, so there's no gender roles here. But it feels like before there was an energy of like maybe not being able to trust someone. Um, the King of Pentacles is a very slow, uh, earthy type energy. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, someone could be dealing with an earth sign. But there's been a lot of self-reflection going on. Someone judging themselves um whether that's good or bad but <clears throat> finding people that are your mirrors so the big theme for you Sagittarius is you know um is using people as mirrors to find uh then discover things about yourself because people are our mirrors Whoa, Queen of Swords, Resilience. Their cards are just flying out. Page of Wands, Creativity. Whoa, and King of Wands, Practicality. What is going on with all these people? My God, Sagittarius, how many players do you have in this life? 
Oh my God. Okay. So there's a lot of people here. Like there's a lot of people cards. <clears throat> and that's, that's showing me Sagittarius. You have way too many people in the energy field right now. Like it's just a mess. <clears throat> oh God. Okay. So you're creating stability for yourself. That's a good thing. Um, fuck. I don't even know where to start. You just have so many, so much fucking people in your energy field. It's ridiculous. I don't know where to start. Honest to God. So we have Queen of Swords, Resilience. We have Page of Wands and we have Qu King of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> so it's possible if you're a divine feminine, you're in this energy, which is the Queen of Swords. Um, lots of people like to call her the, the bitch of the tarot because I don't think she's a bitch, but you see how she's got the shark behind her. Um, she's very cold. She's, she's a cutthroat, right? Um, she would be the type of bitch you would describe as like a dog eat dog type bitch. Okay. I mean, look at her. She welds a fucking sword, right? She, she welds a sword. <clears throat> Wields. Sorry. She wields a sword. I can't talk. Mercury retrogrades over, but it's still fucking me up. Okay. So it's possible that because you're in this energy, my beautiful Sagittarius, you're attracting all sorts of characters. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. We got King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. We have King of Wands, which is Fire Sign Energy. And by the way, this is also a Twin Flame card because we do have the two seahorses. Um, I call it my Twin Flame card because I once watched this video about this this twin flames and they were seahorses and i never forgot it so i always designated that as my twin flame card one of the twin flame cards in this deck now it might not be a twin flame card for other people but in this deck for me it is a twin flame card so <clears throat> it looks like you have two options one is a deep twin flame soul connection one is possibly just i don't know maybe a soulmate um This is just nuts. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to interpret these cards. It's insane. But I see also Sagittarius that you're doing a lot of self reflecting. You're creating um, some stability for yourself. So some of you might be buying a house or um, buying some kind of a big purchase. Um, we have creativity. So it's possible that. Um, either you have children or your person has children. This is like a child card. Um, it's also, I mean, the page of wands, especially to me is like a, um, a card of like, it says creativity. So it's like the card of like having childlike creativity, but this isn't an, an, like a childlike energy, right? Um, also, uh, pages are watchers or spires, so it's possible that you have someone else watching you, Sagittarius. You're just on fire. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know where to start with this shit, dude. It's crazy. This energy is nuts. Seven of Wands. There's a lot of wands here. So I see that true to Sagittarian nature, you're like fired up. There's lots of energy around you. Energy, energy, energy. Ooh, healing. Okay, so <clears throat> in the past, you may have felt like you've had to like defend yourself or defend like your belief systems. It's 909 on my camera. You can't make that up. Okay, so in the past, you might have felt like you had to defend your belief systems or, you know, just defend what it is that you, what is important to you. And now you're just of this attitude, like you just don't care. Like you're not explaining anything to anyone. You're just doing you. And that's a good thing. There's this heavy energy of like, I'm doing my own thing. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. That's beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck's going on with my voice, Sagittarius, today. I have no idea. All I know is I cannot talk. I got, I'm like losing my voice. It's really weird. I sound like a fucking munchkin. I'm going to be talking like this. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> it's really weird. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Um, 
I haven't even done any working today. I haven't like done any tarot. I took a few days off because yesterday was my daughter's birthday and she turned seven. So, you know, that's why I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but that doesn't explain why I lost my voice. It's weird. I don't know. Um, we have the angel of the ocean. So she represents healing. Um, it's also, ironically, it's temperance. It's Sagittarius energy. So it's you, you know. Um, but, you know, it's the card of also uh, balancing out your energy. It's the card of, so this, in particular, this um, angel of the ocean, she represents someone who lives in both worlds, so the physical and also the, <clears throat> the, um, Oh, God. What's the other plane? She has her foot in two dimensions. The dimension of the living and the dimension the dimension of the dead. So, she can breathe air, but she also can breathe underwater. It's crazy. She's like a mermaid angel. I don't know. Um, that might be significant to you. Um, but she's an earth angel, and she lives in the ocean. But it's... If you read the card, they say that she breathes air. Like, she needs to go up for air. She cannot stay submerged in the water forever. She has to go up for air because she breathes air. Um, this is also the card of alchemical healing. So, alchemizing emotions, taking negative, turning it into a positive. All right, so we're going to get a final outcome card for Sag, like... There's just so many energies swirling around. I don't even know. I don't know what to make of your reading today. It's weird. Page of Cups. So we have Page of Cups Imagination. Sorry about any background noise. Someone is definitely coming forward with a love offer though. Page of Cups is an offer of love. So someone is coming forward. Okay. Whether it's, it's one of these... It feels like one of these masculines, right? Hold on one second. Okay, Sagittarius. So we're going to sum up your reading like this. You're going to have a choice between two possible suitors. One is definitely a twin soul. This one is just... Um, I'm not doubting that this is a good suitor as well. The King of Pentacles is usually someone who's rich. Um, and you trust this person a lot. Like this is the trust card. So, you know, he's going to come in with like a very slow, steady, beautiful energy. Okay. This one's going to come in surprisingly with a more rash type energy, which is crazy because this person I feel like is your twin soul, but they're a fire sign. So they're going to come in with a totally different approach. Okay. But there is an offer of love. Okay. Um, spirit is going to give you a choice and your journey is going to depend on, you know, how well you've done this, the healing work, right? Honestly, I feel like you don't even want a relationship with anyone right now. Like this is, this is your energy, masculine or feminine. You're doing fine by yourself. You're independent. Um, you, I don't see you even wanting to, um, and in fact, in the bottom of the deck, look, we have anxiety, <clears throat> which is it's so funny. It feels like you're content doing your own thing. Like you don't even want to even let anyone in, which is kind of funny. We're going to pull some Romance Angels cards for you and see what Spirit has to say about these connections. All right, what else do we need to know for Sagittarius? Okay. What else do we got for Sagittarius? Mm. I feel like I'm not, this reading sucks. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I not, I feel like I'm not channeling for you guys today. It's weird. I don't know. It's just the energy feels off. I don't know if it's on my side or your side or yours. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So one of those two is a romantic partner that you seek. Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So 
If you like blondes, your person's going to be a brunette. Hold on one second. Okay, so back to the reading. Keep an open mind. So it says your soulmate is going to be different than what you would normally expect. So, for example, if you like someone who is curvy, then your person would be on the thinner side. Um, if you like someone who um, loves to be outdoors all the time, then, you know, your, your person is probably a couch potato. <laughs> and I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm saying this is how spirit works. And it's to open our mind. It's to allow us to see things from a different perspective, right? Okay. Children, your love life is being affected by children. I just said that. Remember in the page of wands card that we got? I said there was something about like this childlike energy or something about creativity and um, with a child, right? Like working with a child. Um, so I'm not sure how that's falling into your energy field, um, Sagittarius. But for some of you, like if you have children, your partner has children, you know, somehow it's affecting um, your love life. Like maybe you just need time alone without your children for a minute or, you know, maybe um, your children affect the type of partners that you choose or whatever, right? I mean, if this is a twin soul connection, I wouldn't worry too much about, um, you know, making sure you choose the right partner because your twin soul is going to love your children as much as they love you. Like, that's just a given, right? <clears throat> All right, so we're going to take the last one at the bottom of the deck. It says, hard to conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like it's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to have so many options this September. It's just, I don't know, like... Between the Queen of Swords and all of those energy cards, <laughs> it was really hard to pinpoint who I'm speaking with here. <laughs> like, it was just so many energies around you. It's insane. I feel like there was way too many people cards in, in your reading, Sagittarius. I haven't had a reading like that in a long time where there was just like people all over the place. <clears throat> so you just, you have a lot of connections with people, I guess. I don't know how else to say that. <clears throat> and that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. All right. What is some advice for Sagittarius spirit message? Heart chakra. I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships. See loving relationships. So this is like, I was going to say polyamorous <laughs> type energy, but it's not. It could be, I guess, um, someone who like has multiple partners or lovers. And I don't even know much about that, but it says loving relationships. So that just popped into my head. I don't know if that pertains to anyone. That's just weird. I've never channeled anything like that. But it's number 17 heart chakra. So it's about keeping your heart chakra open. Try not to be in this queen of swords energy of like cutting everybody out. Um, believe it or not, some people deserve your love, Sagittarius. Number 17, you add it up. Seven and one is eight. So I feel like the next person that you let into your love life and you give your attention to them, both of you are going to be abundant in this relationship. You're going to help each other prosper. You're going to create together. Release 28. I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. 28. So there's something that needs to be released, Sagittarius. It's going to be different for everyone. But you, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's time to let it go. It's time to release it. It's not serving your highest good. And so it's time to say bye-bye to that. And look, if you add 8 and 2, you... Once you add that up, it, it adds up to the number 10, right? 8, 9, 10, right? 8 and 2 is 10. So once you release that, you're going to have a beautiful new start coming in. Okay?
there's a very strong angelic energy coming off these cards as well too so you have see i just said that you have very strong angel guides number 18 air elemental we have eight again so you have some good um abundance and wealth coming in for you um sagittarius we have three eights we have eight 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 that's the number of um, eternal abundance <clears throat> So I embrace the element of air and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. So this is a possible air sign. Um, some of you could be dealing with an air sign as your love. Or they just have air in their charts. Keep an eye out for your friends that are air signs because I feel like they're going to be bringing in um, some good lessons for you. And you're going to learn a lot from them. They're going to help you with the next part of your journey. And they yes, ask, this is air energy. It's an air elemental. Okay, so we are going to move on to your career section. And oh my gosh, I just smeared so much blood on my hand <laughs> from that cut. It's so tasty. All right, so we're going to do... Um, your career portion and then we're going to move on to your final message from your spirit guides that are helping you um, with your connections this September and we are going to call this a reading I'm sorry I couldn't give you more <laughs> information about your love life Sagittarius I, I I honestly this is the first time I've actually had a reading that I couldn't interpret the energies it was just really nuts like that's never happened to me um, I think it's only happened to me one other time um, and yeah, that's just, it's very, very strange. Um, there's a lot of players on your ball field and I just could not pinpoint, um, a definite energy from either party. So have I seen Superman? Yeah. Um, he's in the bathroom drying, remember? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so it is safe for you to receive. This is about allowing yourself to receive, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Ironically, um, I just recently had a conversation with a Sagittarius friend who told me that um, he has issues with receiving. So there it is coming up again. Spirit is saying it's safe for you to receive, Sagittarius. You have such beautiful, loving hearts and you give so much beautiful energy to other people. And it's safe to allow them to give to you as well. And giving comes in many different forms. So, you know, it's... I mean, if you look, there's the angel. Um, there's the dove, which is the Holy Spirit. And so I feel like you're you're surrounded by angels and the Holy Spirit. And so much love um, that you have to offer. But you have to remember to allow yourself also to receive that love back. Okay. Pay yourself first. Look at that. Another card about loving yourself first. It says make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time that you get paid. So you matter too, Sagittarius. Um, stop giving all of your resources to other people and to your family. Make sure that when you get paid, you're setting aside that money to pay yourself first. So... If you had your dream job and you could get paid whatever a day or whatever an hour, give yourself that. Like, seriously, like I make when I get paid, like I set aside money for myself and my savings and I make sure it's like a big, big paycheck because I'm like, this is what I'm worth. <laughs> right. So how much do you think that you're worth, Sagittarius? Ask yourself that question and then pay yourself that. Or double it. That's a that's a good start. Right. Ask yourself what you think you're worth and then double that. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> because you are worth it, my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, so let's go on to the final message from your spirit guides. Um, I wish I could have given you guys some more advice in the love department, but there wasn't really much messages coming through for you there. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys are just as confused as I am about <laughs> your love life. So... 
what is the final message for Sagittarius in regards to um, the connection that they have questions about? What is the spirit guide that's helping Sagittarius? I really want to call this reading like too many players on the field, but I don't even know. I feel like people will be taking that the wrong way. Like, like if you guys think I'm insinuating that like Sagittarius is like a player, I'm not. Or, you know, that you're dating too many people. I'm definitely not. All I'm saying is there's a lot of people in your energy field. And that could be, a, you know, a ton of different reasons. There could be a ton of different reasons for that. You could just have a lot of friends that you're working with. A lot of people you're collaborating with at this time that's in your energy field. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have a lot of deep connections that you're creating right now with people. <clears throat> and that would make perfect sense as to why you have so many people in your energy field at this time. The Horse King. So we have Assistance and Control, number 42. So the Horse King um, helps us to gain control and also to release control. So it's like when you're riding a horse and you jump on the horse and you're holding the reins of the horse and you are in control of the horse, but also the horse is controlling... The horse has some... Um, semblance of control as well because the horse is you're on the horse and you're leading the horse right but the horse has the ability to either accept your control or to you know kick you off right so it's sort of this idea of like working together to control the beast does that make sense <clears throat> so you're being assisted by the horse king right now to help you to control whatever it is you are struggling to control. Now, it's going to be different for everyone, but, I mean, it, it feels almost like a sexual desire thing. Um, maybe you just need help controlling yourself in that area, which, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, if there's some type of sexual desire that you're having, I would say just go for it because, like, life is too short to not enjoy yourself, I guess. I don't know. Um, don't take my advice. Always <laughs> take your own advice and trust your own judgment. Um, but this energy is about learning to control the parts of you that you feel might be out of control, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, we have four and two, which is six. So six is a number of like spiritual journeys and um, just spirituality in general, it's it's just like a broad umbrella um, term for anything that's spiritual. So this could be control in some regards of like your spiritual journey. And I feel like if you feel the need to control anything in your spiritual journey, you're probably not enjoying yourself as much as you should be. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. So whether the horse king is teaching you how to control yourself or how to let go of control and let the horse sort of lead the journey for a while. Um, either way, you're going to learn something about yourself, Sagittarius. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right, so... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading. It was a little bit confusing for me and I still don't understand quite much of it. But that just goes to show Sagittarius's energy right now <laughs> is all over the place. I love you, Sagittarius. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below um, my videos. If anything resonated at all, <laughs> which I highly doubt, but I don't know. I mean, whatever. Um, hit the like button. Um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video with me. I love you Sagittarius. Bye.